Is your multivitamin that you take every single day giving you a thyroid problem? Let me explain. Say you go to your primary care doctor and your primary care doctor comes back and says, hey, I did a bunch of lab tests on you and looks like you've got hyperthyroidism. And you say, how so? He says, well, your T3 and T4 are elevated and your TSH is low and therefore you got hyperthyroidism. And I want to start you on some treatment. You say, hold on a second doc, what do you mean I got zero symptoms whatsoever? He says, you could still have subclinical hyperthyroidism that you don't know about and it's better for us to go ahead and treat you and wants to start you on a medicine. And this is where I come in. The multivitamin that you're taking every single day might contain something we call as biotin. And biotin is taken because it is good for your hair, your skin, your nails. But if you have more than 5 to 10 milligrams of biotin in the multivitamin, it can actually affect your thyroid function test. How so? Well, what it actually does is it actually increases your free T4 and T3 levels and it decreases your TSH levels. And therefore, whenever they get the lab test, it shows that you have hyperthyroidism. But it is not doing it in the body. It is only doing it in the reagent that's been used in the lab test. So it's giving you a false result without producing actual problem within your body. So that is the reason that the doctor told you that you might have hyperthyroidism. It is not true, but in fact, just an artifact that's happening because you're taking biotin. So what should you do about it? Well, you should wait for 48 hours without taking the multivitamin which contains biotin and retest and it'll be completely normal. Say you watched my video when you say you watched my video before you went to see the PCP and you tell the PCP, hey doc, I watched this video and he said that the biotin is what's causing this problem and I do not have hyperthyroidism. The doctor is flabbergasted. He asks you, how do you know this? You tell him that you watch this on I Am Medical's Medical Shorts and maybe he too should check this out. Just to add some one last little fun fact to the story, does biotin also affect anything else? Imagine he actually wanted to follow through with his plan and say, hey, you got hyperthyroidism, so I'm going to test you for the most common reason for hyperthyroidism and that being Graves disease and he wants to test you for thyroid receptor stimulating antibodies we call as TRAB. Guess what? Does the biotin gonna affect that test too? It actually does. In which way? It can either make it go up or it can go down so you cannot trust the test. So biotin can really mess with your thyroid function test but Good news, it is really not causing it in your body. It's just a lab artifact. It is not causing thyroid problems in you. I'll see you on the next one.